once you've created your group. And really at any time, you can change the group privacy and settings. For doing this, you will come over to group options and select the gear icon, edit privacy slash group settings. Right now it is defaulted to um, the school being able to see the group profile page. If you just want your group to see it, you can select the checkbox. So it's not open to the whole school, just your group can see the profile. You have the option to change who sees the group updates, resources, roster, and discussion board. Anytime you see a question mark, you can hover over it to see what it means in Schoology. Once you have selected those terms, you can come down here to other settings. Now, with these other settings, you will want to think about what kind of group you created. If it's a group for students, the settings might be a little different than if it's a group for educators, like a PLC group. So first think of the purpose for the group. To post group updates, you can have all members or just group admins, and those are the people that have the crown next to their name. In the last video, we talked about how to change that setting to make a member a, an admin. So just the admin in the group can post updates or just the members. Comment on group updates. That means that once a group admin or another member makes an update, can you comment on the group updates? You can change all members or just group admins. Create discussions, all members or group admins, or create resources, all members or group admins. And the create resources, you really have to think again of the purpose of your group. If this is a PLC where you guys are sharing um, resources with each other, then you might wanna have all members um, be able to create resources and share them. If it's just students, maybe it's um, the group admin sharing out resources with the students, but they're not creating. So just think about the purpose of your group before you change all of the settings. Once you have changed the settings, make sure you click the blue button to save changes or they will all go back to default. You will see a green bar at the top that says your changes have been saved. Once you see that, you are good to go. And that is how you change your settings in a group.